Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Naturally Zen. Remember to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoy! Today we're going to be reading an adapted book about Rosa Parks. Rosa Louis McCauley was born on February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. Rosa's parents separated when she was two years old and so she and her mother moved to Abbeville to live with her grandparents, who were former slaves, Rose and Sylvester Edwards. Rose's early experiences with racial discrimination and activism helped her learn to never accept mistreatment from anyone. As a child, she would watch her grandfather, shotgun in hand, stand up against the Ku Klux Klan. For most of her life, Rosa attended segregated schools, such as a one-room schoolhouse. During this time, all African-American students were forced to walk, while white students took the bus. In 1929, Rosa was attending laboratory school, led by the Alabama State Teachers College for Negroes. By the 11th grade, Rosa had to drop out of school to take care of both her sick mother and grandmother. In 1932, when Rosa was 19 years old, she married Raymond Parks, a barber and member of the NAACP. Rosa Parks was finally able to finish high school. She became actively involved with civil rights issues, joining the NAACP as a youth leader and eventually becoming secretary to the NAACP president. On December 1, 1955, Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger. During this time, the Montgomery City Code required that all public transportation be segregated. This meant white people sat at the front and black people sat in the back. Rosa Parks' arrest sparked a boycott that lasted 381 days. Black people were asked to walk, bike, carpool, or drive to work and avoid taking the bus. The boycott was successful. The Supreme Court ruled segregation on public transit systems to be unconstitutional. Although Rosa Parks became a symbol of the civil rights movement, she suffered hardships after her arrest. She lost her job and her husband was fired. They were forced to move to Detroit, Michigan. In Detroit, Parks worked as a receptionist for John Conyers' congressional office. She also served on the board for Planned Parenthood. In 1992, Rosa Parks published an autobiography by the name of Rosa Parks, My Story, recalling her life in the segregated South. In 1998, a hip-hop group, Outkast, released a song named Rosa Parks, which was on the top 100 on the Billboard list. In 1999, Parks sued the group for using her name without permission. They would later settle in April 2005. On October 24, 2005, Rosa Parks died quietly in her apartment in Detroit, Michigan. She was 92 years old. About this adapted book, looking for an interactive activity to teach your students about historical figures and heroes throughout history? This fun adapted book shares facts about important people using real life pictures. Adapted books are perfect for your immersion readers, English language learners, and are especially useful for students with autism and other special education needs. How to use adapted books. Adapted books or social stories will help students learn using visual and text representations while increasing independence. It includes a class read aloud about historical figure, comprehension questions, vocabulary lookup, and more. 
you can laminate the adapted book to reuse and for students who are unable to participate in the cut and paste portion of the activity. To increase or decrease level of difficulty for students, increase or decrease number of visuals text provided to students at a time. You can increase level of difficulty by having students write in their answers and not provide students with, with the visual or text representations. You can decrease the difficulty by providing students with visuals only and have students focus on matching the visuals. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.